So, what was your most memorable moment with an artist? Wow. Hmm. You can have a few, three max. I have to think about the parts I can remember. <laughs> uh, courtesy of the Corbell Brothers once again. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting, we're, everyone's getting around with Corbell's. So yeah. <laughs> I don't know, you know, because I think, I don't know if it would be the artist or working with the horn section from Coolin again and we did some retro wow. soul stuff that was amazing. That's awesome. Um, it might be some of the staff because we've got yeah. such amazing players and Ricky Rouse on guitar that plays with his teeth better than most people play with their hands. Seriously. Really? Oh, this brother's amazing. Insert video here. There you go. <laughs> oh, Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. Literally yeah. Jimi Hendrix reincarnated. And Ricky's played for everybody. Uh, Stevie Wonder when he was 12. I think Stevie was 10. Yeah. And uh, he's got about 60 million records into his belt. Wow. Bad, uh, bad brother. Wow. Working with him a lot is a complete thrill and a joyful experience. Mm -hmm. Rick is on all of the Tupac, every record for the most part, and uh, Dr. Dre. Shaka Khan. Uh, mm -hmm. You can't forget Shaka Khan. No. Yeah. Well, well, you guys will be interviewing Stan, uh, okay. the guitar man, in a minute. And Stan is from the Dr. Dre camp from day one. NWA and all of that. This guy that's here. <laughs> We're being treated, guys. Yes. We're recording with Stan <laughs> We are being tonight. treated. So, Ashley. I know you must have some favorite memories too. Tell us some. Um, you know, I have to agree with him. It, we have an amazing staff. And one of my favorite memories was Skyler had come to me and he had said, I have three demos you've got to hear. I've got some new songwriters, new composers. Take a listen to these three songs. So I listened to the three songs. And immediately they grabbed me. My three favorite artists are Janet Jackson, Aaliyah, and Beyonce. And all three of these songs were them. <laughs> and so I was like, who's the artist? Who's the artist? He's like, I don't know. I haven't found it yet. You're going to find it, and we'll find it together. But right now, I want to be ready. So when I have the artist, it's green light. Let's go. Mm. So I have my work cut out for me. But... I found a choreographer, I said I want to find a choreographer that worked with all three of those artists because his standards is like Clive Davis, L.A. Reid, and Simon Cowell put together in one person. <laughs> so I knew, okay, these songs are his baby and I need to like put the standards up here. Right. So I had my pull and I'm ready to go <laughs> and I came across Michael Andrews on Facebook and I messaged him and he's as stubborn as my husband. But we met and we auditioned. I said, we're going to meet at the basement. I'm going to be there at 6. Skyler said, okay, I'll be there at 7, which really meant 8. Um, so, <laughs> so we got there. He's on and black time. Michael Andrews was like dream choreographer. We worked with other choreographers, other dancers. Mm -hmm. But the work ethic wasn't there. And I knew yeah. that his standards. So Michael Andrews worked on the Velvet Rope Tour at 17 years old. Emmy nomination at 19 for the Velvet Rope Tour to the assistant of Tina Landon. And Tina Landon. Who's the artist for the Velvet Rope for those that don't mm -hmm. know? Janet Jackson is the artist for the Velvet Rope. <laughs> and then he also worked with Aaliyah, the R&B princess, as well as uh, Destiny's Child, the Whitney. same my name, and Whitney Houston. Wow. So we finally found, you know, we before we were going to find the artist, we wanted to find the choreographer for the creative side. So we auditioned him. Skyler came in, and he had his glasses, just like he does now. Like, military man comes in, and he's like, he just watches it, still-faced. And Michael goes, I don't think, I don't, actually, I don't think he likes what I did. What, what do you think? I said, I've been married to him for 12 years. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I can't tell you. 